Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Bash Harry, this is The Harry Knit. We do a lot of knitting, tutorials, chats, podcasts, and all that stuff. And today we've got a haul. I went to Kuala Lumpur a few weeks ago and in Kuala Lumpur, there's a place called Spotlight. It's an Australian brand, but I know that they have some outlets in Kuala Lumpur. And we were really busy the entire week that we were in Kuala Lumpur in KL because wedding stuff, meeting up with friends and family, and a lot of stuff that was going on. But I think after one of our meetings in the morning after lunch, we went to Spotlight My Town, which is a shopping mall in KL. And it was, it's like right behind an IKEA and it's a huge IKEA. But we went and we found Spotlight, and I got myself a little bit of a haul. Ugh, this is heavy. Look at this cute bag. This didn't come with uh, the Spotlight. It's just like a bag that we got from one of our trips, our shopping trips. KL is a dream if you're Bruneian. Um, it's great. We also don't have a lot of yarn available in Brunei, I'll be honest with you. So I don't tend to spend a lot when it comes to yarns here because the, the quality isn't there. It's like really cheap yarn that's either milk cotton or acrylic. And it's just, it's not viable for me to work with, especially for clothes. So I tend to do a majority of my shopping when it comes to yarn, either on Wool Warehouse online or when I'm traveling abroad. And this is one of the occasions. I try not to do as many hauls, at least this year, but I just wanted to add that as a disclaimer that like instead of buying uh, pieces or yarns, maybe once a month or every two weeks, I try to only purchase yarn in bulk every like three to six months, not six months, maybe three to four months, depending on if someone I know is traveling or I'm traveling, that's how I purchase my yarns. Just a bit of a tangent, I guess, because sometimes I feel like it's really weird to talk about yarn hauls, especially since, you know, it's, tr it's, it's not necessarily like a huge purchase. It is a huge purchase for me, but like I'm saving up for those purchases because <laughs> I just don't have any viable options here. And it was easier for me to buy yarn when I'm abroad, when I'm traveling. So I wanted to show you the stuff that I got at Spotlight. Spotlight is an Australian brand. It is, so I think a lot of the yarn that I got, you can find it in Australia where it's a lot more accessible. But I do have some recognizable brands like Lion Brand that I've heard quite a lot of people here on YouTube talk about, but then I've never tried it myself, so I'm pretty excited. And I do have some plans for these yarns. I need to take the time this month to really reorganize my stash because lately my cats have been getting at my yarn stash outside in the living room and I, I don't want that to happen. They try to eat my cashmere yarn and it's, it's the worst. <laughs> but that is it from me. Before we get started on this haul, please do like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested. If I'm going to KL again this year, which I probably would, Got a lot of things to do there so please let me know but other than that let's get started on this haul i have this big bag of yarn and i think i'm just gonna go through them one by one the thing about spotlight is it feels a lot like a hobby lobby or a michael's when i was in the us like a long time ago it's huge there's so many crafts if there were fabrics there were even like household items it was incredible because we don't have shops like that here in Brunei. We have more like, what's the word I'm looking for? We have like shops, you know, we do have something similar, but it's way more toned down and way more chiller. I think that's the word I'm looking for. So it is really incredible to see shops like this that is so big and wide. And I know it feels so weird, I guess, not very weird, but it's fascinating to me to go into such big shops whenever I am in a different country. When I was living in Exeter, it was a really small town, but I would go to KL a lot. Not KL, I used to go to London a lot uh, for work, and I loved walking around shops 
because in the UK, if I remember correctly, malls weren't like a popular thing. It wasn't like a big deal. But in Malaysia, malls are still very prevalent and you can get a lot of stuff at the malls and it is wonderful. We have a mall in Brunei and it's the biggest mall here and it's literally called the mall. So, you know, we're not we're not the most creative when it comes to naming our brands or like our shop lots. Anyway, I'm going to just do this very sporadically. The thing about the shop was it's a bit messy and I could tell that there were like people picking things out and then putting it back in which was something that I was doing, so I can't really complain about that either. I'm just putting it all on the table right now. I should have done this before we filmed, but it's okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I bought five different yarns of varying skein levels. And then I was really lucky that my partner helped pay for a little bit of it because he loves me. And also because we're doing something for his niece and I'm making her a dress. So I'll start with that. The first thing I got for her, she's turning two this year, I think. I wanna make her a dress. And so we got the Moda Vera Shadow 8 Ply. This is 60% cotton, 80, 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. Look at this color. It's a bit variegated of purple, a little bit of pink, but it's mostly like purple and lavender. I wanted to get this for her. We were talking about what colors would look really nice for her. She's two years old. We thought that it would be really cute for her to have a dress specifically in this color. And the reason why we chose this is because she is a baby. Wool, definitely a no-go for kids. And cotton acrylic blends would definitely be a lot lighter for her, a lot nicer for her to wear. So that's why we got this. I think originally it was either this color or like a baby blue or an orange, but I think we settled for the purple because I think it looked really cute on her. And she wears a lot of purple anyway. This is made from Spotlight. So it is, I believe, Australian. I think it is. And it is 22 stitches by 30 rows on four millimeter needles. So I'm pretty sure this is about a DK weight yarn. 22 stitches, a very light DK weight yarn. It's been a while since I updated my knowledge when it comes to yarn weights, but I believe this is the case. I need to update my Ravelry to include this. I hope, it's also easier because it's cotton and acrylic, they could probably just like wash this with their hands and it wouldn't irritate or try to, like the way that wool does that if you irritate it, it felt. So cotton and acrylic wouldn't felt, which is why we chose this yarn. We got, I wanna say, we got four skeins of this. She's cute. I hope this is enough to make a dress. If not, actually no, I believe it will be enough to make a dress, especially because she is a small girl. I think one, one and a half year old dress, this should fit perfectly for her. And it's so nice. I love the designs. I know that I, I posted on my, Instagram when I was traveling that I really wanted to check out stores in Malaysia and we managed to go to two We went to spotlight, which is the haul that we're doing and then we went to one called Lily's handicraft but I didn't buy anything there. It was at Sungai Wong Plaza, which is at Bukit Bintang. I didn't buy anything there I think it was just hard for me to figure out what yarns I wanted especially since I'm somebody who likes to take my time looking at things when I was purchasing all of this, initially it was like seven or eight different yarns and then we settled, we reduced it down to five. So that is another tangent that I'm on about. Let's move on to the others. We got one down, four more to go. This one I am so curious about. This is Abbey Road Kung Fu Cotton. Zoom in, yes. I got it in a hot pink color. They had, I think, yellows and blues and greens but the hot pink was really speaking to me i believe abbey road is also an australian brand and we got ooh, ooh, sorry we got about four balls of yarn i think it's an aran worsted weight yarn because that's what i saw when i was checking ravelry about it because i was so curious about what people made with it because it's Aran worsted, it recommends 5.5 millimeter needles, but the stitches are, the gauge is 14 stitches by 20 rows. 14 stitches seems like it's like a heavier worsted or a bulky weight yarn, especially for something like this. 
I am so curious to see what it's gonna work up as. Also, do you see this? This is not my fault. It came like this when I was picking it up from the counter or from the shop. It just ended up looking like this. Regardless, I really love the color. I think it's so different from other colors that I have in my stash. It is this beautiful hot pink, like I said, and I wish I had this yarn when the Barbie movie came out. I think it would have been really fun to make like a top out of this color that's so Barbie inspired. I might use this yarn to make something for Taylor Swift uh, since I'm going next month, but I'm not sure what design I want. Do I want to make a vest? Do I want to make like a really cute stitch top? I don't know, but I think this color would be amazing for Taylor Swift. I'm, and it's also 100% cotton, so it wouldn't be too hot when I wear it. If I'm thinking about making outfits for concerts, which I've never done before, I wanted to do it for uh, Nikki back in 2022, but I didn't have the time. This would be absolutely perfect for Taylor Swift or Ariana or one of the pop divas, honestly, but I'm going to Taylor Swift. This is 100% cotton, 140 meters. So I have one, two, three, four, give or take maybe about 450 to 560 grams. My math is not mathing right now. I think a sweater vest would be so cute, but I know I'd have to probably take this off when the concert comes along, or at least when the concert starts, cause they can get very hot. And as much as I would love to wear knitwear, I have to be mindful of the weather. And I don't know, I feel like not just the weather, the heat that is inside a concert, it would be so much fun. Let me know if you think I should knit something for Taylor Swift, especially in this color. I think it'd be really, really fun. Maybe something with this and then like a friendship bracelet inspired top. I think that'd be really cute. I have a lot of ideas now. Anyway, we've got one, two, three more to go. This is gonna be a quick video, that's okay. I got two of this. Well, I got Motivera's, which I think is both. No. So I've got this one here. This is Vera as well. Kush Cotton Blend, 87% cotton and 13% nylon. Can you zoom in? Okay. Surprisingly enough, I don't think I have that much orange in my wardrobe. And you can probably tell in this little haul that it's majority cotton or similar to cotton. And I've said it before, I said it again, I'll say it a million times, I cannot wear that many sweaters made of wool and brunette. Except for this one, this is 100% wool, drops Andes. Actually, yes, it is wool, but I can wear it indoors, just can't wear it out often, unless I'm like in really heavy air condition. So I'm leaning towards more cotton blends nowadays because I'm really curious to see if I can wear it out a lot more comfortably. Not to say that I haven't worn my clothes out comfortably, but I want something that I'm just curious to see how the texture, how the feel would be like in hot weather, especially now that I know that I think in the US, the UK, the Northern hemisphere, it's gonna become a lot warmer sooner because of climate change. <laughs> I'm kidding, am I? I think something like this would be absolutely amazing. This is 19 stitches by 30 rows. And I think I have something that's similar to 19 stitches by 13 rows. I think it was my Rowan Mako Baby, which is also 19 stitches. So if I was to make a pattern, it would probably be like a summer top with either this and then use Ra Rowan Mako Baby as like a second sample, even though I know that one's been discontinued. This is four millimeters, so this is definitely like a DK, but looking at it, it's pretty thick. Let me see if you can see that. You can see the ply is actually thicker than I thought. Like if this is eight ply, I feel like this one feels a lot more thicker than something like, like this. So that's very interesting. This is in the color, I don't see the color. This is in the color sandstone. This one, is in the color hot pink and this one was in the color purple print i forgot to say that sorry i just love the color i love orange i love anything that reminds me of sunshine and clear skies and what better what better way to describe this color than like a nice hot sun on a very hot day i have four skeins of this and i think this is about what does it say here it says it's about 200 meters so 800 meters for a top for somebody of my size should be just right 
I love the color. I love the designs. I just hope I can make use of my stash in the coming year ahead. Anyway, let's move on. We have this little cutie. I think this is green. It looks more like, I want to say it's an artichoke color. I want to say it's like an artichoke, very, it's a very light green artichoke color. And I have three of these. This is 200 grams of the Annette Erickson Eco Cotton XL Extra Large Sustainable Yarn Made from Recycled Textile. 200 grams, 85% cotton, 15% polyester. And this is the color eucalyptus. Yeah, so it's very green, artichoke eucalyptus color. This is about 220 meters, six millimeter needles, 14 stitches by 17 rows. Oh, so it's about the same stitch count as this. Okay, the reason why I chose this yarn is because, well, one, I wanted to work with a lot more cotton this year, and two, I don't know, I feel like the feel of it is so nice, and it's very different from other cottons that I've worked with. It feels very similar to Drops Paris. I'm currently using that to make a top, but I feel like I want to update it because I'm not entirely happy with the design, but that is another topic for another day. I really like the color. I really love the design. I don't know if I wear a lot of green, to be honest, uh, which is another tangent all on its own, but it seems like something that I think would be really beautiful and fun to make, especially in a tank top. It is a bit rough, but it's not as rough as like Lily uh, Sugar and Cream from, I think, Lily or something. It's one of those. It's the sugar and cream one that I can't think about right now. But this one feels really nice. And for 200 grams, that is a lot. And that's pretty good. I'm very excited to work with all of the yarns that I have. I just need to spend some time to actually sit down, take it easy, figure out an outfit or like figure out something to just knit it up with. And I always have these ideas, but I only have one pair of hands, unfortunately. So the yarn stash is just slowly getting there, but I'm going on a tangent. Let's continue with the last uh, yarn that we want to show you today. This is, and this was the messiest when I was picking it up. Look at, look at that. I, I probably need to wind this up one of these days. This is Lion Brand's Nubu 100% Lyocell. And I just found out that this is probably discontinued. So I don't know whether or not you can find this at your local yarn stores, unfortunately, but I was Googling, I was just researching. This might be discontinued, unfortunately. This is 100% Lyocell and it is a medium weight at four with 4.5 millimeters, 20 stitches by 28 rows, and it's about 144 meters. I am so curious about Lyocell. I've never worked with Lyocell, especially for summer weight garments, for summer garments. I've worked with bamboo, viscose, and cotton, obviously. I really like bamboo. Cotton depends on the cotton. Viscose, I have no immediate thoughts. So Lyocell, I was just very curious to see how it would look like especially since this kind of yarn is very shiny. Like you can see if the camera can pick it up, it has this shine to it that's similar to mercenized cotton, like the Shopaji's um, Katona cotton that I've worked with before and I've made some tops with it. So I'm really curious to see how it's gonna work out. I am curious, I am. I just probably will have to rescheme these because this is messy. And I don't know, this is in the color, this is in the color Frost Givre. Giver? It's in the color Frost Givre. Giver. I don't know how to pronounce that properly. It's the one right here. I don't know if you could see it. I love the color. I think this icy frosty blue is so beautiful. And compared to this blue, which is in, I wanna say sky blue or ice blue, this is definitely icier and much pastel -y. It's more pastel, which I quite like. And especially for like a lacy tank top, I feel like it would be absolutely beautiful. I think that is about it from me. That is my whole yarn haul. Thank you for watching me talk all about what I'm gonna get or what I got at Spotlight. I need to slow my wallet down. I have a wedding to prep, gotta save money. I was thinking, cause like I'm Malay and we do a thing called Hantaran, which is basically the 
bride and the groom, they gift each other with presents, you know, in preparation for the wedding. And I was just joking to my partner. I was like, you know what? Honestly, you could just give me a gift card for yarn, a yarn shop, and I'd be completely happy with that. He was like, he was very tempted because I really love like looking and playing around with yarn. He doesn't get it, but he gets me. And so he understands why I love it so much. Anyway, going on a tangent, thank you guys so much for tuning in. My name is Bash Harry. This is the Harry Knit. And if you do like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you've worked with Spotlight before, if you've ever purchased yarn from them, if you have any recommendations, if I ever go back to Spotlight. But until then, my name is Bash Harry. This is the Harry Knit. I've said this all again. I'll see you guys later. Bye!